I mean, any of you could have taken more than one thing, and you didn't, except for these ladies right here. It's like too small. Okay, I'm ready. I think a lot of people. Okay, I'm gonna go. You go. Then she goes back and she returns one of her stolen items and she switches it out for a hat. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hello. I <laughs> What's your My name? My sister couldn't come, so that was her souvenir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of people's sisters couldn't come. <laughs> so what is your name? Nancy. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> so uh, look, I, I like that you like the product so much that you wanted to bring one back for your sister. Mm -hmm. But um, now when you go like to Costco or... or <laughs> You're the kind of person, like, when you go trick-or-treating and nobody's home, you don't just take the, you take the bowl. You just walk away. <laughs> no. No. All right. Listen, I, I really, uh, I'm sorry. That's embarrassing and everything, but, you know, let that be a lesson to you, because you think... It is. You, you think nobody's watching you, and you just need to be a good person just because you want to be a good person. You go well, sit in that elevator Well, well, how the tables have turned. Ellen DeGeneres lecturing one of her audience members on how she needs to be a good person. I mean, you heard it yourself. Well, heal thyself, physician. <laughs> We're going to look at the real reason why The Ellen Show has been canceled, how Ellen's brand, To Be Kind, is in tatters, and how cancel culture has ironically come back to eat one of its own. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you, as always. We're your daily antidote fake news, as each and every day we analyze current events and analyze some larger conservative trends to help you stay sane in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we get into things, let's give a huge shout out to the sponsors of this video. And that's the makers of this beautiful, this awesome fighter flare flashlight. You are going to love this. One of the best things that you can invest in for your protection when the lights go out is this six-in-one beauty, which comes with a 3,000 mAh solar-powered recharging battery equipped with a high and low beam light that you can see from miles away. I know my kids flash it in my face. It's got an emergency strobe light, a compass, a wire and rope cutter, an emergency glass breaker hammer, and a high-powered military grade magnet it is absolutely awesome and best of all if you click on that link below right now you're gonna get 20 percent off the regular price but supply is limited do not wait click on that link below and get your super awesome fighter flare flashlight today all right gang let's dive right in here we have just witnessed the career death and one of the most iconic daytime television stars since Oprah Winfrey, who herself has gone through a colossal fall of late. You definitely want to check out that video we did on the colossal fall of Oprah Winfrey to compare what's happened of late to Ellen DeGeneres. It is now finally over for her. Her daytime show has been officially canceled as of this year. She announced the decision to end her show just yesterday, confirming that this season, her 19th, is indeed her last. Now, interestingly, she's blaming the end of her show on her own artistic need to find new challenges in life. She recently told The Hollywood Reporter, quote, when you're a creative person, you constantly need to be challenged. And as great as this show is and as fun as it is, it's just not a challenge anymore. <laughs> but obviously something else seems to be far more operative here. In ending her show, Fox News is reporting on the number of staffers once employed by Ellen DeGeneres who are now coming out and speaking out about the show coming to an end. And they are all unanimous in their assessment saying that they are, quote, not surprised. Each of them in the Fox article recalled 
how once the camera was turned off, the bubbly, delightfully kind persona that Ellen had built up disappeared. And instead, she reportedly turned into an absolutely insufferable person. And that revelation, the revelation by a number of ex-staff of how the real Ellen was nothing like the on-screen version, seems to be what's really behind the cancellation of her show. What made Ellen Ellen on screen over these last 19 years? Her entire brand was to be kind. Her website's URL is Be Kind by Ellen. Be kind was the catchphrase that summarized the ethos of Ellen DeGeneres. But then, just a year ago, explosive revelations and accusations were made that Ellen was nothing like that in real life. And here's just a sample of some of the headlines that exploded across front pages over the past year. Ellen DeGeneres show under investigation following claims set is dominated by fear. And the article goes on to report on an internal investigation being launched by the show's distributor, Warner Brothers Television, following reports that DeGeneres was treating staff contemptuously and rudely contributing to an inordinately poor workplace environment. And boy, did staff ever come forward, collectively revealing a radically toxic work environment centered on Ellen's horrifically nasty and rude behavior towards an employee. She's been accused of firing people and mistreating employees simply because they took medical leave or who took time off to go to a funeral and grieve the death of a loved one. Again, to their credit, interestingly enough, BuzzFeed has been on top of this. Even the New York Times has been reporting on this. Apparently, she's just a very irritable person. Staff and crew members complained of her being cold, abrasive, very aggressive. It's being reported that some were instructed not even to look Ellen in the eye. She apparently is very demeaning to her staff. BuzzFeed, the, the, I mean, of all organizations, BuzzFeed, the ultra-left BuzzFeed, conducted interviews of dozens of former employees of Ellen's show, many of whom confirmed that there were, in fact, frequent incidents of sexual misconduct, harassment, and assault on the set. Her executive producer and head writers facing allegations that he requested sexually explicit acts from a male staffer in a bathroom. He's also being accused of actually grabbing the private parts of a production assistant and groping yet another. The executive producer is also being accused of sexually inappropriate comments as part of just his frequent discourse with employees there. Another producer was accused of attempting to perform a sex act on another employee. Apparently, these sexually explicit misconducts were widely reported among staff over the last months, even years. So there are, there are no secret. The individual accounts could be corroborated by others. For example, it's being reported that five former employees claim that another executive producer touched women inappropriately on the set. Now, this executive producer guy by the name of Ed Glavin, he, um, it has been confirmed that he has been fired, but obviously the public relations damage has already been done. And then when you add on top of all that, the revelations widely circulating that Ellen DeGeneres is actually a very mean person, very unpleasant boss to work for. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this whole thing is going to just crash and burn. And that is exactly what happened. After a year of being dogged by her own behavioral inconsistencies and sexual harassment in her studio and the like, the reign of Ellen DeGeneres uh, over daytime television has come to a shattering end. But there's a bigger irony here than just Ellen being exposed as a fraud when it comes to her persona as a kind and good person. You see, Ellen actually ends up exposing in her own self the larger futility of woke cancel culture. But before we get into that, I'm so excited to invite you to our brand new Patriot Entrepreneur Live event that we're holding on June 4th and 5th. It's a virtual conference, so you don't even have to leave the comfort of your own home, and you can secure your seat simply by clicking on the link below. If you're looking to be a Patriot Entrepreneur, right, who's currently frustrated and feeling trapped in your woke job, passionate about your work, but disheartened about your woke environment, or perhaps you're a current business owner who wants to take your impact to the next level, then you're going to absolutely love our upcoming Patriot Entrepreneur Live. I've invited top conservative entrepreneurs to join me 
and share their wisdom with you as together we build a world of freedom without sacrificing our callings and talents. I hope to help you live out your calling free from cancel culture, woke corporations, and the grasp of leftist ideologies and give you all the tools you need to be living a life of complete freedom. Now, if you click on that link below right now, today, you can take advantage of our early bird special and register at a super low price, but that special offer is going to expire over the weekend, so do not miss it. Click on that link below and I'll see you for a week, and it promises to be a game changer like never before. All right, so I'm sure many of you are aware, but Ellen is quite the woke social justice warrior, and again, I mean, at least she likes to present herself as such. When the whole BLM riots broke out last summer, Ellen decided to show her woke bona fides by tweeting out her solidarity with those who were fighting for social justice. Now, that in of itself ironically backfired. Activists believed the tweet was too vague and they were very critical of her insensitivity towards social justice needs and the like. And so she canceled herself. She deleted the tweet. So here we are almost a year later and look at what Ellen is talking about in view of her cancellation. What do you think she's talking about? <laughs> she today, my friends, is talking about, you guessed it, cancel culture she's actually out there decrying the very cancel culture that she helped to perpetuate as a defender of all things woke but in the end ellen is learning the hard way that once you've unleashed the virus of cancel culture there's no guarantee that the woke mobs aren't going to be coming after you one day that's the hard lesson that ellen and many more once woke celebrities are learning Cancel culture will always end up canceling itself, and no one exemplifies that self-defeating nature more than Ellen DeGeneres. Now, before you go, you definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how over 100 ex-generals warn that Biden is collapsing as the world burns all around him, all as Trump has proven 100% correct at the border wall. You're not going to want to miss it, so make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.